blue! Fun one. This is uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I dabbled a little bit in the very, very first game. I do not remember a whole lot about it, but what I do recall is that it's kind of funny. It's pretty uh, trippy in the sense of like uh, geometry and things of that regard. So uh, with further ado, let's set our time here. Let's, let's go ahead with our, with our local time zone, huh? <coughs> Pardon me. My phone is blowing up right now. We're gonna have to turn that shit off. Do 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 do. Yes. Confirm. Ha <laughs> ha. Yo, what's up, voices? How's it going out there, buddy? Yeah! <coughs> and then we also got Farden in the house. Yeah. yeah! Uh, accessibility said to be access to menu. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so this game's supposed to be pretty interesting. We'll see how it all plays out here. Um, did my stream already cut out? Is that what I'm seeing here? If that's the case, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, good. It better not have, man. I've been having some weird things going on with my, uh, <laughs> with my... <clears throat> so I found out, I've been doing some debug programs and shit on Streamlabs. And on YouTube. And, uh, there's a thing with Streamlabs and YouTube where they're... I guess for lack of a better word, a handshake, if you will. Authorization handshake, where, like, Streamlabs says, Hey, I'm pushing this to you. YouTube's like, hey, yo, I got that. High five. You have a good rest of your day. We'll see you later, kind of thing. Well, right now that high five is uh, is getting missed every now and again. Not not to do with anything with the internet. Or, anyway, long story short, YouTube and, and Streamlabs are having some weird oddities going on here. Um, this is so weird, dude. Look at this. It's like it's like OBS and shit. <laughs> it's on multiple screens right now. Okay, this is gonna be a fun game. Yo, what's going on, this booty warrior? Hey, I really, I, I really appreciate that shout out. That was awfully kind of you. So yeah, this so this is the story of a man. Here we go. Let's get ready to save it. Here we go. <laughs> this should be pretty interesting. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Okay. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders <laughs> came to him this through is a hitting a little too close desk, to home right now. Telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 okay. did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders. How many of you out there are, uh, is, are a one finger typer? For this job. Stanley <laughs> was oh shit, what's going on here? I just shrunk out. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Oh. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour yeah. when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, <laughs> call a meeting, or even say hi. Never so what? in all That's his years out? at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Okay, so I just got but like a But as he came to his wits office, and regained his senses, right he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's right. So, so this cat's gonna narrate me the entire time here. I think. Oh my god, dude. We have. We have to. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go all the way up there, bro. Jesus. That's a little bit better. Okay. Actually, that might be... That might have been a little too spicy. We'll see what happens here. Yo, what's up, Golden? How you doing out there, buddy? Welcome to the rabbit hole, man. Okay, so we are... All of his co-workers were gone. 
What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, hold, hold on. <laughs> Let's check how we got going on here. Okay, I, we went, we went, you know what, we know what happened here? We went, we went just a little too spicy. You know what I'm saying? You know when he goes a little bit too spicy? And you go from like no forehead sweat how hard to Stanley butt sweat? Looked, he couldn't find yeah, a trace of his right co-workers. Okay. So yeah, there's like, there's it. Okay, hold on. There's a crouch. Okay, so anything, anything I hit on the left side makes me crouch. Okay, whatever. Okay, 437. Oh, sorry, I'm 427. Can I open any doors? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, I want to go there, man. Yeah. Oh, hello, note. Looks like maybe a uh, bill of land in there. Is this like prey? Is this staged? Four B six. Okay, we got it. Let's get out there, man. Let's get outside somehow. Hmm. I hate Mondays, <laughs> dude. I love Mondays. You know, the reason why is because Mondays are my Fridays. Otherwise, yeah, fuck Mondays. Wait, hold on, let's see here. It looks like real duct work. That clock. Oh, okay, so my time setting had nothing to do with the clocks and the... Is that for real? What the hell are you talking about? I am online. Quit telling me I need to go online. We're online, bro. If you tell me that again, I'm gonna punch you. Shit, now I'm all turned around. I've heard this game does weird shit. Like, it, uh... Dude, there's a whiteboard in there. What's that say? Sales on this quarter. Um, like <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hey, hey what's up, C Crazy? <laughs> How the heck are you out there? Oh, I, that's so kind of your voices. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to play games that I enjoy. Or yo, Trill, what's going on, man? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, play, I'm just trying to play games that are fun, that I enjoy, and that, uh... Or, like, I guess, like, Cuphead, that make me rage like hell. Oh my god, dude. I don't even know if I even want to talk about it. <laughs> to be honest with you? Cuphead... Okay, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Cuphead, damn it. Cuphead, like, brutalized me yesterday. What'd the thing say? I guess it said go left, didn't it? Th Shit, did I go through the wrong door? Yo, do you guys remember if it said left or right? I think it said left. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Rest in peace. How does solve a dispute with her? What the hell? Yet there was not a single person here peace, either. Franz. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Jesus, Stanley, don't, don't go. <laughs> the super is gonna get me. Oh no! Did I go through the wrong door, Kill Chain? By the way, what's up, Kill Chain? So what do we got here? So I don't know what day of the week it is. 
Weekly meetings. Okay, is there anything on here about like why everybody's gone? Legal boss inspection. Eight bird. Office party. See that Friday office party. Maybe everybody's at the office party. Floor four. Okay. We don't know what day of the week it is. Let's see. Here we go. Tomorrow I'll complete today's unfinished agenda items. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Jim is employee four three one. Maybe, or it goes up to Jim, who is in. That's that's. Eh. Let's see. Target is now get Chris out of the broom closet. What? Who moved my desk? Okay. Fire paper guy, not cost efficient. Standard graphs, 40 wide. What the hell? What the hell is going on in this game right now? Oh, yeah, so like I said, I've heard this game does weird shit. So like, it, uh, I'm assuming you all know, for the YouTube people out there, you all know who Jack Septa guy is, right? Um, like when he was playing this game, it like, he like beat like the first in whole computer down and shit, and then it like brought it back up as part of the game. I don't know. I don't know if it was like editing and just part of some, you know, trickery of it or as part of the game. I've I've read some other things, this thing does some weird shit. Like intentionally. Not like it's hacking your stuff, but you know what I mean. Okay, I don't think there's anything here we're supposed to like gain. Broom closet. Oh shit. There's some dude in the closet, right? Bucket. Yeah. Stream just oh, maybe died. Maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers Did my stream just mysteriously die? out of existence in a single moment. Are we moment still alive? For no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. I think For we're still example, alive. Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Yo, if it, why did anyone out there in chatty chat, we're still alive with you, let me know. Went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty repeating. No, Stanley, this can't be real. And All right, cool about my shit over to it, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be leaving the stream labs. Stanley felt after to have this finally week, found sure. an answer. An All good, you're in. Thanks, OG. I appreciate it. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. Okay. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through yeah, space I'm on a magical Yeah, I'm about to here too. I'm starting to it wonder. Too appeared. It was so just much came... fun. Mm. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Yeah, I got a feeling. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming Could about have the a same voice problem. describing yeah, man. me, thinking about how it's describing so my tired thoughts, of it, dude. he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, We're just taking a moment here, waiting to see if this is going to freaking catch up. Yeah, I just I just paused the game audio. You can probably still hear me though, I hope, yeah. Hey, what's up, Dev? Yeah, we're just, we're I'm just I'm waiting uh I'm waiting to see if this is going to catch up here. 
Okay, yeah, it looks like it's cleared up on my side here. Let's wait and see if it gets actually to my pause screen. There's a, like a 20 second, 30 second delay, which I'm sure most of you all probably are aware of. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. The I'm gonna go ahead and resume the game here. This was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is okay. as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now here he's more awake than he's ever been. It was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he and knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the drop. voice not see him float and make the magical stars just <laughs> yeah, a moment back, ago? Back. How else would the voice explain I all that? that this Thanks voice was a part here. of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. What is he going on? That he I don't want to leave this room quite yet, you know what I mean? this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. What? He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Did we just get our first ending? I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife oh, man. and my job. Interesting. Okay. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. The way it's my always life been. is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. What do you all think? Oh. Stanley began screaming. Please, oh, shit. someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must why be real. Why are things turning red? Why are things turning red? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, Who the hell gathered is her Mariella? and walked oh, to her place shit. of work. Is that but me? on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. That's a terrible he idea. Crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Yeah. And in that moment, she thought to herself, "How lucky yeah, she there you was go, Slag. to be normal." I am sane. I am. You, uh, you, you get one in there for the hammer mind. too, buddy. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting Dude. to think this, and what in a certain is, way, seeing what is this going on? Feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. Okay. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her. Not gonna career. check my pulse or do anything, huh? I'm just gonna life. just gonna leave me. She had no time for leave this. me there. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. What? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Okay. She turned around. Oh. Oh. Was that our first ending? So there's like, I've heard there's like a shit ton of different endings and stuff. <clears throat> until you get like, until you like beat the game. All of his co-workers were gone. What, what the could hell? it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, no matter we... how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Does that mean I'm supposed to find them? Nah, Stanley's just mentally insane. <laughs> yeah, bro. I think Stanley's got some problems, man. Do you think we're Stanley even- Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> nor did it advance the story in any Dude, way. so... This, I've heard, like, 
this game, like the developers and how this game's written and everything, both the original one, which is like five years ago, I think, and this one, uh, like... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. We did this last time. We must have done something wrong. Oh, sorry, we went downstairs, didn't we? Shit, that's right. Let's go upstairs. Dang it, you're right. That's right, that's right. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, There's Stanley decided right? to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hold on, let's just see here real quick. Paper, office party, mergers, I do is IT department. Okay, that's all the same. That's the same. Jim, 431. Get Chris out of the... Okay, this is all the same. It's all the same. Bucket. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not okay. going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever wait. it is you enjoy doing so much There's in this room. There's anything to do with stuff Please with everything in it. You can time. also go back and do stuff. That you're not so not supposed to do. The guy will get pissed off, and if you keep doing it, it can get really funny. <laughs> okay, copy that. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I want to get. I want to do the very first. Coming to a staircase, like, natural Stanley ending. walked upstairs to his office. And then we're gonna office. try to like break the game and do whatever. But yeah, I've heard like the way they wrote this, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Like, they literally thought of everything. Because they're literally, you know, they're narrating what I'm doing. They have no idea what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? I got the feeling money's, that says money, right? Money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say, that's a lovely purse. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, yeah, 100% voices. We're, we're very happy to have you part of the community here. I, I, I totally agree with you. I, I'm happy to have found the community myself, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Happy to have found it. What the hell? Is that a panda bear getting shot? Business strategy? <laughs> What? <laughs> what the hell, bro? Can I take the elevator? I want to go down, right? I think I want to go up. Yeah, no, I'm not. I don't know what I'm supposed to be. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Dude. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 284. Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I'm sorry, what? 2845? Okay. And where? Oh, I guess this big panel, huh? Okay. okay. That's, that's not going to be it. Can we, uh, can we clear out? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Yeah, I got it. Thanks, bro. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What the hell, dude? Yes, yeah, so this is like Prey. This is like literally, uh... It's like Prey and Happy Humble's Burger Farm. All this shit. It's all simulation, right? Uh, 
What? Am I supposed to just go in there and die? Oh. <laughs> I thought I thought it was like an elevator shaft. Oh. It is an elevator. Well, okay. Okay. Loading. Okay, we can do that. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, gotcha. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Look at that. Snap, crackle, pop in my headset here, buddy. Stanley walked Ooh. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Is it weird that Escape looks creepy and the Mind Control Facility looks... I guess... Okay? Check out the mic. Shit, this door is gonna close, isn't it? Yep, okay. Hello? Is uh, Mr. X in here, man? Light bulb. I'm going to hit light bulb. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television oh. screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Dude, Stanley this is the uh, the himself. KFC guy did he from have uh, the strength to Matrix, find out? right? George Carlin. What the hell? When did this happen? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true Whoa, nature revealed. Dude. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, okay. and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What was I? Four, four, seven, two, right? Yeah, right there. My desk is empty, that makes sense, because I'm not there. This is really weird, dude. I don't even know what the hell is going on right now. Fired? It's the only cat that says fired. Hold on a second. What is this all about? Shit, I can't go back in there. I can't see it. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Yeah, Had Stanley really been weird. under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Am I going up into the black hole? No. He refused to believe it. Hey, I appreciate he that, Miss Booty. It. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Game is uh, interesting it, thus far. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world?
But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls okay. labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, Purple, eating, green, working. Yellow, all red, of it monitored blue. and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again the exert hell? its terrible power over another human life. For he okay. would dismantle the controls once and for all. Control disabled. Okay. What? Something went boop. You all heard that, right? It went boop. Confused. Talking computer right now. But did it? I can't do that one. That was too high. Let's sit on. Let's see what is going on here. Excuse me. Am I not looking at the ball here? Okay, so... But it can change pitch, though, can it not? It seems like if I hit more than once, right? Yeah. I mean, I see a one, two, and... Don't recall a four. Where's five? Oh, is it upstairs? Ah, okay. So if we can't get upstairs, we probably aren't supposed to be doing anything with it. And if that's the case. I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen there. Let's see, let's see. Awaiting input, huh? It's awaiting us some input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So, off? I don't know if that's right. That might have been wrong. We're about to find out. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Nobody knows. Yes. Oh. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Yes, Freedom right. was mere moments away. Sweet. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley yes. reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Yes. How had he been freed They're from the They're my co-workers, they ain't my friends, what let's other roll! What mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the hey, chamber, oh, he realized none of this mattered to him. Oh. For it was not knowledge or even power oh. that he had been seeking. I thought I died. But happiness. 
Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Yeah, let go of my co-worker. No See you later. No longer anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life Ooh. he lives, it will be his. Well, and hello, that was all world. He needed to know. It was perhaps the she only thing real? worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Ah, oh, beautiful. Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I seeing this? That my. So why did it do that? <laughs> Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, okay. right now, that things were meant to happen. <laughs> and Stanley was happy. Sweet. Stanley's happy. Happy. I got a feeling it's gonna go to shit real quick. The end is never the end is never the end. Loading. Okay. Hey, we got an achievement. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Where is the meeting room? You know what I'm saying? Where's the meeting room? I don't think we've made it that far, have we? Click the doors. At the start? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's get back here. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, okay. nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> On all of them? Are you sure, man? You're not just like, let's, let's, we're not just gonna like have the gene. Yeah, yeah, I got all the ones in the starting room. Right, now do this, okay. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office yeah, because right. he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Should we go right? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he <laughs> wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Right? Can I break a window? Kill chain's right. Can we break a window, man? I can't. Hmm, I thought I saw some gold. Oh. Okay. Ah, yes, truly a, different a room, room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Did I? I mean, this looks horrible. Like... Yes. They, really, I mean, it looks really great it because it looks like an room. office like break room. room so that just looks like horrible. That even though all your like I imagine like a mysteriously call vanished, center or some here you shit. sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Ugh. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, did I? What if I go this way, bro? You gonna narrate me some more? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible <laughs> he wasn't five years ago. Okay. What an asshole this guy's turning out to be. Oh, 
There's a door. Nothing. Uh, do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 5000 But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. I was Good just trying to look Stanley. over it to Everyone see, like, you are very powerful. would I die? The, the answer is yes. If you even look over the edge, it will grab you, pull you down, and you will then die. Okay, gosh darn it. All of his co-workers were gone. What Let's could get it back mean? to where that was. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do, 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 do. When Stanley this came way. to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting oh, room. Oh, don't you tell me what's right or wrong. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, we just might. to admire it. Okay, employee lounge. Wow. Yes, this room. Yes. What a but eager to get yes, back to business, room. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Right, man? I would have gotten the hell out of here too, bro. Like, why am I here if no one... Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Yeah, yeah, Stanley was very bad. At, okay, we're not gonna... We're not jumping off the lift, y'all. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Okay. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Are we sure, though? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. For her. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who the hell you talk about, man? And clean your ducks, dude. Look at that shit. Who's her? Darkness. That's her, Stanley. Oh. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to What do you her. mean, to do this? If... Hello? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. What? Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. What an asshole. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Yeah, for a minute there, I you. thought maybe uh, in the game I had here, a loving Stanley. person I'm trying to get you about. to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Yeah, what? What the hell is going on? I'm more than confused. Hi. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. That's me. Uh, okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Do not? What do you mean, do not? Do not go inside. I'm already inside, man. Dev, I'm already inside. There's a delay. Oh, jeez. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Do I want to be pressing B? I, I, 
I, I don't have any other choice. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. Can From I? behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay. He about to toot up my butt. Oh, no. Don't tell me that, man. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought... So, excited him terribly. It's just turning into my office. Press X to spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind Yo, y'all, if you have a cocktail, make sure you're sipping that on that shit. decisions would mean something was too wonderful to behold. Press X to prepare dinner. As he wandered through oh. this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Is my Down dinner one file path cabinet? An enormous round room with Is that what I eat for food for, uh, for dinner? File cabinet. Down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. You know what that means, right? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. This is so weird, man. But there is no answer. No oh, God. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. I'm pushing the buttons the right now. The he spends here, the more invested oh, he shit, gets. shit, I'm part of the, the cult. They got me clocked which in. which life is the real one. Bro, wow, this is not good. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. <laughs> here. Is this, this game to help Stanley, like make people want to quit their job? What's you going to on push here? A button, do not do it. I'm gonna do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? I can't. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Oh. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same Dude, as just let me out, man. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. <coughs> I'm compelled okay. to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. What? What? And Please I tried die. Again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. What? <laughs> what the hell? Dude, this game is so freaking weird. I love it. I absolutely love it. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Oh, finally. We progressed. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. Yep. I got what I wanted. It's true. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the <laughs> office, but it didn't make a single oh, difference. Shit. Okay, so Nor we're back did it advance the story in any way. Okay. Let's go left. Let's see if we can... Oh, shit. Are we not? We haven't got to the memo, have we? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the okay, door on his on left. left. Nothing. 
You need to stay in this part. I'm assuming that was back there, one. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. The broom clo- Why is the broom closet all boarded up now? With everything he said. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. We've been here. Okay, what's this say here? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? I don't Stanley know. wondered aloud to nobody. Give he began me the code. wildly tearing through papers I'm going on to the count boss's to three. desk, pulling books off there the shelf, no looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. The gigantic what could its keypad. Purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret Dude, what is the number, man? 2845. It's the same one, okay. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Are you serious? No. Nope. Oh, Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumb. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Okay, he stepped thing. into the newly opened passageway. Yeah, we went downstairs on our first pass through. I don't remember how far we went, though, to be honest with you, Kill Chain. Okay, nothing in the dark. Golly. Yeah, I'm wondering, so are we going to get the same? Yo, what's up, John? How you doing, buddy? You see that? You see how I, I, I almost spilt my drink because I missed my mouth. Okay, we've been here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control We're gonna Facility. Escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What do you mean? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Hey, we're all good, bro. I'm gonna check this death scene out. You so say it's At this happen. point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. It's and Stanley is. I am Stanley. Death. I just said you. Or I just said to you. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm back at the. Oh shit. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inching closer hell? and closer to his demise, he oh, reflected shit. that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> oh, no. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know I the can't real get out, story, man. trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent <laughs> end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. No! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, okay, killing sure. him instantly. What? Stanley? Parable? 
there. And yet it would be just a few minutes <laughs> before Stanley would restart the game back oh. in his office as alive as ever. Wow. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the I, moment he I hit guess, the start? I guess, yeah. You, yeah, okay, it's got Shyamalan. Stanley's computer. Okay. This is the office layout. Dude, what is... <laughs> What is going on? I literally have no idea what is going on here. Office computers, employee database. Solitary, that sounds about right. Beats me, John. The office? Okay. Button sounds. What are the sounds used throughout the game? When buttons are pressed, each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Okay. Uh. Credits to the folks who wrote the game. What's on the right hand side here? This is one of the hidden endings. Oh, nice! We were already getting a hidden ending. Hell yeah. Office clock. Boss's office. Dude, I'm so like. What? Someone just talked to me. Hello? Stanley stood on the snow. Oh, it's the narrator. I thought it was somebody else, man. Yo, brother, what's up, bud? Now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible for the pair to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Textbook mistake. Nothing there. It's Shit. the kind of thing you'd pick up on intuitively if you had even the most fundamental understanding of good and bad game design. But of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, I'm just going to make this easy on you. Then he pushed the number four. Then he pushed the number eight. Five, four, eight. Four, eight. Four, eight. Where was that damn... Maybe something up here, perhaps? Yeah, you made it, man. Definitely made it, bud. I have no idea what is going on. This game is so freaking crazy. It's not a code? Okay. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How the hell, they wish man? to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. What the hell? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one Do another? Do you see? No. Can you see? Not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Yeah, that's right. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn Dude. off your Xbox. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Why did stop it? Stop now and it'll be 
I didn't know I'm on the Xbox. Choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let Was that supposed to be doing something? I think I just died. Dude, we just died. I think. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? This game's so freaking crazy. All right, y'all. Hey, give me one second, y'all. I gotta go uh, hit up the Albano. A little bio break. Chill here. Get to know each other and chat on YouTube. Make sure you drop your link. That way folks can come and check you out. Drop a sub. Drop a like on the video. I will be right back here in about a minute. I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick and finish my... Uh, Get another water here. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you say? What do we be? Okay. So we back here. Let's see. Hopefully we are and haven't dropped out on y'all here. Okay. It looks like we're still livey livey. Okay. Wait. Stanley thought to himself. Yeah. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. No. No, the orders were still missing. Definitely no orders. For now. Orders are missing for now, okay. Nothing's changed with these rooms at all. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open okay. doors, he entered the door on his left. What do you all want to do here? You all, you know what? Okay, let's make this interactive. You all are going to decide the fate of Stanley. Which direction would you like to go? Left or right? You all let me know. Left or right, y'all? Which way you want to go? Alright. We're going left. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling okay. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided up. to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nope, Stanley went downstairs. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered right. the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Oh, you want to go he right? Be fired for that. Shit. And in such okay, a we'll, competitive we'll, economy, we'll go right why on the next had he one, taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, oh, no. he we thought in a to loop? himself, maybe I am. All of my co-workers oh, blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Can we been here? None of it made any logical sense. Oh, no, and as Stanley dude. pondered this, he began to make oh, other strange no, observations. Man. For example, this is not why good, couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? I don't know, and man. And for that matter, these really look pretty familiar. Were They're all the same. Repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His yeah, I don't know what's going on at the stream, gone. man. He it's wasn't it's lagging for job. sure, bro. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, We're gonna be, I suppose um, I'll wake up soon. I'll have to cutting go over back to, to uh, OBS real life job after this buttons. week. I, I'm, I'm so well sick of stream lags. while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. What? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and what Stanley the marveled hell is that he had still not here, woken dude? up. How was he remaining so lucid? <laughs> and then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One dude, he was got... amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Yeah, this is a little I'm odd. I'm about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. And while he thought it all little weird. odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Dude, I don't know. Stanley man. is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a this shock. This is so Stanley. weird. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Yeah, that's true. That's and he true. invited Kill himself Jane. to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. Yeah. I wish it to what? be over. <laughs> I don't Let even know, like, what the... Job. Like, what's the Let end game? Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Just my the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Man. I am okay. This is getting a little deep. Stanley began screaming. Oh, Please, shit. someone wake me up. My name is oh, Stanley. Shit. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. We've Please, been here. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Okay. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. We, we've been here. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. 
She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Right, she bailed on me, right? on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would believe the man to be me. Call for an ambulance, <clears throat> for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone obviously, knows what crazy people right? look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man Game's make crazy. it better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only so, a so far, nothing's that she changed stood in this story there, staring line. down at the body, and then she turned and ran. Okay, that's all exactly the way it was the other time we came through here. Okay, so. We had a few people say to go right, so let's Stanley go right. Stanley had time. never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Okay. Okay, we're going right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not right. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So let's Perhaps do everything that the, let's the do all opposite. First, We're going to do a George Costanza. It. You got me? We're going to do everything opposite. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called but eager to get back to business? Stanley took okay, the first once, open door okay, on we're his not, left. We're not going that way. Stanley was so bad at following know. directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, I think I have an idea. Look, Stanley, I think I perhaps think we we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration <laughs> for others? Kind of. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to okay. show you something beautiful. Well, Look, let me prove it. Yeah, let me okay. prove that I'm on what your you side. Give me a chance. What you got, buddy? Let me hear the evidence. I feel like we've been in a room like this before. Okay. Yeah, I saw it last time we were in there and I was contemplating it then. I wasn't sure if no bucket past this point. Am I supposed to have a bucket? Cargo. Yo, am I supposed to have a bucket? Bucket. I mean, if I take the lid off, that's a that's an official bucket, right? Huh. You think it's just like just a bullshit sign? Like I shouldn't pay attention to it. Okay, I, I, apparently I am not a bucket, because I came through here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Opposite day. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. You said blue. Gotcha. I still don't think we're communicating Shit. properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Blue door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. 
You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. All right, man, just take it. Take it, take it easy. Um. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? <laughs> I think we pissed you this cat that off, yeah. time into that because I did, and in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help what elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. <laughs> Tell you what. Oh. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new right, design you and you can give me some feedback. All right, what you got? There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Yeah, go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Hmm. All right, y'all, what do you think? Chatty chat, up to you, y'all. You tell me what we're doing. Left, middle, or right? The pole has been opened. Dev says, have a look. I know where it goes. All righty. Yo, the smoke, what's going on, bud? <laughs> ah, sure, we got, we got two vo- Oh. I can't go back, man. I'm so sorry. All right, Kill Chain and Miss Booty, you get, uh, you get, you get votes on the next one. Please rate your experience. What? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. All right, yo, this be like Price is Right shit. All right, Kill Chain and, and uh, Miss Booty Warrior. What y'all want here? One, two, three, four, five. Your call. We're going to try to make this shit as interactive as possible. One. Kill Chain says one. Copy that. Let's get it. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had <laughs> reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved <laughs> to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? But a one? That's not even helpful. A what one? What am I supposed to do with that? A uh, bloody I one? I it's in my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, yeah. I've compiled a new version. Uh -oh. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Okay. Let's take a look. Whoa. Whoa. The leaderboard. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Because these cats are all offline. Anybody, are you guys on here at all? Did you know 21.3% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the word... <laughs> Shit, I didn't read it. Uh, compete against others to improve your Stanley Imperial career, okay? I'm, I'm 9,328th. Oh, I'm at the very bottom. That's out of. Damn. Well, all right. Uh, so you guys said middle previously, right? Miss Booty, you said middle here? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated <laughs> to keep walking through doors? Again, honest the, answers, please. The competitive leaderboard. So they're like, is Stanley like ripping at other game developers? Like leaderboards and shit like that. This is interesting. All right, y'all. Uh, let's see here. So we did. Uh, we did Death Fang. We did Kill Chain. 
Uh, Miss Booty, did you get did you get a vote on anything yet? Miss Booty Warrior says two. All right, I already answered. I mean, read my mind right there. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been oh. working on, All and right. now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. Let's do it. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No. Nah, what you Let got? Let me boot it up. All right. Loading. In this game, what the, the baby fuck? crawls left towards danger. Okay. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the <clears> fire, <throat> you fail. It's a very meaningful game, what? all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family <clears throat> life. Should we save the I baby? Think the art world. Will... The message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why what? don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Ew. Well, that's never a good sign. Hopefully we're still with you all here. Ooh. So yeah, we're literally in Firewatch right now. It's pretty crazy. Weird, huh? Damn, it looks like... Looks like freaking Sawtooth right there, man. Oh, no. No, 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 it can't be. What's that? What do you mean, no? What, what, what can't it be? I think there's anything I can do to improve this on my side here, man. My internet's fine. 100%, no issues. Just ran a speed test. It's fantastic. I literally think it's just Streamlabs. Whatever Streamlabs has got going on, it's just bugging out right now. It is. It's an open world game. Good What's God, that? quickly, block it off. Good God, block it off. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. Uh, you really wandered off into that... that thing. That's that hilarious, open, dude. Just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just you go in any... Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. We're thank heavens. Now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Maybe. Okay, I think this will be just the thing. Oh. Is, isn't this, uh... Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had Isn't this Rocket League? Just a... I think this is Rocket League right here, man. Begin the game again. Yeah, I don't know if you want to do that. Nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you <laughs> manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Will you? Like how impressed? You said phenomenally. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? It Stanley, is sports ball. I think it's sports ball. Oh, it what is sports fun. ball. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, hmm. I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. All right, y'all, I think we're having so much problems with this right now. We're probably going to, uh, I don't know, we'll see what you all think here. Has it caught up for you guys out there yet?
Yeah, I guess it could be Xbox servers too, man. This is, I don't know what's going on, man. Just dragging ass. It's like I'm uh I'm in the Rocket League area right now. And I'm just trying to figure out like, where the hell my stream is live for you all here. Yeah, I think we're gonna call it, y'all. I'm not. I'm gonna try to uh, maybe do some troubleshooting. I don't know. What do y'all think we should we should do here? You want to keep going? I'll let you all make the decision here. It looks like the stream finally caught up to me. I'm showing it. We're back. We're in Rocket League now. <clears throat> Continue on. <laughs> This is so weird, dude. Like, we're literally playing Rocket League. Are All you right. doing it? Are you I winning? Am. Is this fun? This is is it fun. better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? <laughs> Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist. But right. if one ball generates a certain amount of ball and adrenal pleasure, That's then true. surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. This would be I'd true. try it out. Here yes. comes another ball. All right. Hey, there's two balls. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Uh, Stanley, I'm uh, like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. Uh, I'm insatiable. More balls! Bam! Oh my lordy. Look at all these balls. There's too many balls out here now. Get in there. Get in there, bro. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? I am. Is this a real I hit the post. I hit the post. Well, I sure hope oh, you're having a good that time. One. Because guess what? It's over. Yeah, what? That's right. Your little fun comes to an what end. What a jerk! This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Okay. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, <laughs> that's what I am. I'm structure. I'm your structure. sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. What area is next? GTA or Zombies? Right, man? I have no rules. idea. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But Yo, what's up, Kid Rex? How you doing, buddy? Kid, you will come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Thanks for cruising by, man. Appreciate Take it. Take care, Stanley. Okay. Copy that kill chain. I appreciate that, buddy. I do. Do you think we should just drop down? I think we're just gonna drop down here, man. Let's see what happens. Hold on. What are you doing? I don't know, man. Whoa, dude. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. And say Yo, what's up, Overkill? Dude, I don't know what is going on right now. Oh, shit. Wow. Like, I mean, just think about coding this freaking game, dude. Think about coding this freaking game. What would you do? How would you even go about this? Like, even like, pic picture shooting this as a movie. Like getting out, like literally like, you know, uh, storyboarding this, like the, the camera angle changes, the transitions, all that shit. Crazy. And then going a step further and coding it into a freaking video game? What the hell, are you serious? 
crazy, dude. I feel like I want to kind of boost up my, um... Uh... Is there no gamma? I didn't see one, did you all? You think the next one's Minecraft? <clears throat> Where do you think we should be going? Look at that, I can't even talk. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where do you think we should be going? It's so dark, dude. Is there seriously no way for me to adjust the gamma? Can't uh, nothing there. Go in the hole. What hole? Did I miss a hole? I don't see any holes, man. I see a light. That's probably good, right? Ooh. Okay. Hey, there's my office. Right? Four, we're 427 or 472. Dude, I, I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing right now. I just did okay. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man Dude, in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. <laughs> this game's crazy. I mean, wherever wait. he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. Okay. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. This world! Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. You'll be back. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. Okay. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Maybe this is where we go to Minecraft? A game I've never played, by the way. Dude, totally see crazy. I think it is. The voice sounds so freaking familiar. You're totally right. Whoa, bro. How are we back? How are How we back? Wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great. He thought to himself, this is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. You guys see that? Uh, new content. It says It says new content. Do you see? Yeah. I have never played Minecraft. I'm dodging all the shit that people are throwing at the channel right now. Yeah, so I never, I never played Minecraft. I missed the window on it. I missed the door on it. What, what, what can I say? You know what I mean? I, it, it makes no sense to me, and it's not that I don't like pixel, pixelated games. Just when it doesn't make any sense to me and it has no lure for me then the pixelation makes it even more something that I'm just not interested in. So, yeah. Oh, you'll do. We're going in. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Wait, wait, what? Is that this narrator's script? Loading. Watch out, y'all. We're loading. Oh. Okay. 
Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Hi. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Yo, Spartan, what's going on, man? After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with Welcome the Stanley Welcome back, Parable buddy. Welcome back. Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, <laughs> delighting audiences the world over. This is hilarious, Please dude. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Does, does this game have auto saves? I mean, I don't even know. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a yeah. mesmerizing yeah. adventure. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be mesmerizing. Yeah! Are we going somewhere? Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or? Oh, I mean, there we oh, go. Oh, All right, okay. finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. Yeah, I've I, never I can't, I'm, been dude, I'm more curious ready. who the narrator is. Let's see if we can find out real quick. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if the. Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Give me the content! Let's see, it is uh, William Pugh. So yes, that cat has done a lot of shit, has he not? Why does that name, that name sound familiar? Why does that name sound familiar? No, wait, what? That's not who it is. We'll figure it out in a little bit. I'm getting told to go to sleep, but it was great to slip in. Hey, no way you're Spartan. I know how that goes, man. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I really do appreciate you stopping by. And uh, have a great rest of your work week, man. If, you, if you're interested at all, tomorrow night, uh, for the first time ever, Miss Hammer, Miss Lady Hammer, my better half, my wife, my queen, she will be joining me on the Gene stream tomorrow. We'll be playing It Takes Two. So make sure y'all stop by. I got a thumbnail right. out already for the notification, right, so go ahead the and drop on circle. in there, drop a like, ring the belly bell. Wait, the jump circle? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I just heard something behind me. Hello? What the hell, dude? We did it, right? Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. Think there so, has to be man. something else, right? I don't think so. I mean, it, that Goodness. looks like that was it. Another elevator. Stanley, <laughs> I have right? to say. Another elevator, y'all. What do y'all think about that? Elevator. It's just <laughs> is this what causes for exciting new content? Uh, if this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. There you and go. Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. So if y'all aren't following along, it is. the narrator has been ripping on a shit ton of games out there, by the way. Like, 
it, it's, it's ripped on the BRs, ripped on the leaderboard shit. Like, this is pretty funny. <laughs> oh, Slangy Slang, what's going on, man? <clears throat> How's that London fog going over there, buddy? Thank you for enjoying the new content. No, you've got to be <laughs> kidding me. You see, Stanley, this is what happens when greedy <sighs> video game developers with no dude. respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason I'd, other than you to tell make me, an man. I mean, it seems and like it's running good. On the level of craftsmanship that's gone seems into like it's running fact, a lot I'm better now. Right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, "Test achievement, please ignore." What quality assurance department <laughs> signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and you guys I, hear I that? intend to find these people on Twitter and hold on them Twitter. personally. We're gonna find them out there on <sighs> Twitter. It's my fault, Stanley. I built up too yeah. much anticipation. On my around side, it looks content, really good, I'm man. Afraid. Yeah, now you're right. could never have right. lived up to such now. expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game, and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about? Okay. No frills. No frills. No gimmicks. No gimmicks. Just you and me. Having a great time together, like always. Come on, don't bullshit you say, me, friend. Mm, you say so, bro. Yeah, it was definitely messed up earlier, right, Slang? It was definitely it was jacked up earlier, man. Okay, so I'm assuming if it's done like loading and stuff, right? It's saving this, is it not? Like, do I have to complete this all in one swoop? We're back at the office, but it looks so different. I know, right? They are usually really crisp, man, which is like... It's a kick in the balls right now, man. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. No. Oh. You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Me a dork. When Stanley came to a set of Guess two my open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. I and don't Stanley care. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope. Standing now in this incredible room, we will never Stanley admire. For the first, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door. And got back and on hit track. the elevator. <laughs> That's what we did. Screw you, narrator. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. Nope. He wanted to wander about. I don't want to go to work. Further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh from here. It's. Are you looking at blueprint? Left. Shit, it's the only way I can go. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. No, it was no, left. No, no, yeah, no, no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Now this jerk clearly... is messing with oh, me. Dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, now, boy. Oh, boy. See, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely, this way. A car? We get in, we drive. No. Nope. Mind control. But we are above now. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, oh, is Stanley, it? close your eyes. Nope, not going okay, to. Okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. So there's oh. a fired cat. Who am I kidding? It's all Must rubbish. Must be six oh one, right? The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far <laughs> off track. Hmm? Okay. Oh, from the man. top. This game is so freaking awesome.
I'm having a blast playing this game, man. All right. But I do think we're going to go ahead and have to give that a, uh, a call the call for tonight, y'all. I got to get up really early tomorrow morning. I can't thank you all enough for stopping by the stream tonight. Uh, you know, we had we had to endure some uh, some lag issues and whatnot. Again, I don't know what's going on between Streamlabs and YouTube. I do have OBS downloaded. I just got to get all my stuff moved over to it. Do the door thing? Yeah, yeah, you bet, Dev. You bet, Dev. What, what, what do you want me to do here? Tell me what you want me to do here. Just, just click on all the doors. One... Two, All of his co-workers were gone. Three, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps four, he had simply missed a memo. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, door 429, door 429, 429, did I miss something on that door? I thought I got that one, yeah, that's the first one I hit, we got it, 12 a.m. there for you, yeah, yeah, oh, 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 okay, we got all of these, 17, we got that one, okay. We're back on track here. When Stanley, wait, wait, what? Wait, no, what? I, no, I restarted, I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be, oh, did something change? Is this right? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monsters? No, don't go in there, you shit. You the story <laughs> somewhere or a, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. <laughs> I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, oh. Stanley. Let's find the story. Hmm. I'm going outside, man. Right back inside. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Sure. Do we, just, do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Yeah, I'm I'm live on my laptop here. Doesn't uh, I'm not. It's not. Oh, maybe it is buffering. It did for a second, but it's caught up now. All of his co-workers were gone. So we're what back at the mean? beginning again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps okay, yeah. he had simply <laughs> missed a memo. Yeah, man, we'll do the uh, we'll do the door thing next one, bro. We'll figure out that door thing on the next one, man. But yeah, I, I gotta uh, I gotta call the night here, man. I guess I gotta get up super early. But I, again, really cannot thank you all enough for stopping by and hanging out tonight. It really does mean a lot to have you guys in my community and to have you all come in here, show the support that you do. And uh, yeah, it just it really just makes doing this so much easier, so much more fun for myself. Um, I look forward to you know interacting with you all, and I like finding games. I don't know. We're, this game, I guess, has a little bit of that uh, aspect, if you will, because I want to try to play games that are interactive as far as, like, decision-making and things like that so you all can help, you know, make those choices or build my character, choose the weapons, things like that. Uh, with that said, however, we do have some new games popping out here when we're checking out. Um, this Thursday, I believe there are two new games coming out we've got a trek to uh yami or yomi it's a uh kind of like a seven samurai cinematic black and white uh super cool looking game we'll be playing that for sure and then also uh i believe the second chapter of poppy playtime drops on thursday as well 
So Thursday will be a pretty busy day. Um, and then, of course, on the 13th of May, Evil Dead drops. We'll be playing that 100%. And then following that in June, there's a couple more additional new games we'll be playing. And also to include in that category, The Quarry. But more importantly, more importantly for you all who are out there still with me here, tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m., make sure you come back by the channel because it's going to be Miss Hammer, my wife, my queen, She'll be joining me on the stream tomorrow. We'll be playing It Takes Two. I believe it'll be off camera. I haven't uh, got her convinced to go on camera. Maybe we'll have the camera myself. Otherwise, it'll be off camera entirely. But uh, we'll get something fun figured out for that. Anywho, make sure you come on by and stop. It should be a pretty fun night. Uh, we've got a pretty fun banter between ourselves. So I think you all will enjoy it. But again, with that said, I cannot thank you all enough for coming by the stream. Giving all that support. Giving that love. Really appreciate it, and I hope we do catch you on the next one.